2020 is a big year for this restaurant. Yada's in Clarksville has a new location and they're adding even more yummy meals to the menu. I'll tell you what, that menu is pretty tasty looking. We got executive chef Danny Dickman here. So we're doing some pasta, yes? Yes, we are. We are doing our ZD Al Forno today. Okay. Um, and we do everything Cicchetti style. It is a Venetian style um, tapas. It's what Italian does that style. What does mean, Cicchetti style? Uh, we do all small plates. Okay. Um, so it's small sharing plates. You come in with a group of four or five. Nice. Glass of wine. Um, you do a couple See. small plates and you guys Speaking enjoy Speaking our language. He's like, how do I relate to these people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I love that. So tapas is Spanish. Yes, it is. And chiquetas? Chiquetti is the Italian Chiquetti. version of tapas. Uh, yes. I love that. Okay, beautiful. so what are some of the most popular small dishes at Yada? Uh, our ziti is definitely one of the most popular. Um, we also do have our Brussels sprouts, which is a Ooh. major hit. People love our Brussels sprouts. Okay. Um, and Brussels sprouts are a very hard dish to make for everybody to enjoy. <laughs> What are you showcasing here? What is this right here? These are our meatballs. They're our prime beef meatballs. Those oh. look amazing. Those look amazing. And I've already spotted the tuna soup, so we're going to dive into that in a little bit. We're yes. sure. Okay. I love well, it. We're so glad you're sharing a recipe yeah. with us. What, do we, what should we do? So what we're going to start doing here is we're going to take our hot saute pan. Okay. okay. We're going to add a little bit of our neutral oil, which is canola today. I was going to ask, it does make a difference when you're using that oil because you don't want that flavor, right? That is correct. Okay. So you want to heat your pan up just enough to where oil slides across the pan freely. Got it. And you're going to add your garlic to start this dish off with. Now, you're originally from Chicago. Yes, How do you like in Clarksville? I like it. I you definitely do? like it. Yes, I do. Good. Okay. Wasn't it the best place? It was a, it's the best place in the nation to live. It just got That's that what ranking from, I don't know, it oh, is, one of those, one it, of those, one of those rankings. Magazines. I know. We're all excited for it. That's so, amazing. So, so great. There's two locations now. Yes. Uh, there is one location. But we it's in a bigger place. It is in a larger oh, location. It's a bigger place. Yeah. I gotcha. 4,500 square feet now. Yes, that is what? correct. Yes. Nice space. So, and here's the other thing. We were just talking about this earlier. You do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, we do. That is That's correct. A long day. It's a busy kitchen. It is a very yes. busy kitchen. Oh, yes, my goodness. it is. Oh, and it's Look a happy that. kitchen. Look at that food. That looks delicious. We can smell the garlic starting to cook up there. Okay, what's the next step, Chef? So you're going to add your vodka sauce, which we mm. already prepared for you guys. We do use San Marzano tomatoes, oh, um, nice. which is a derivative from California. Mm -hmm. oh, um, it just gives it a much more vibrant flavor, a much more clear, uh, clear flavor. Okay. And okay. then uh, when you're doing, so the vodka sauce is vodka, and then you add, do you do heavy cream? Yes, I do. I add a little mm. bit of heavy cream just to cut the acidity into it. Yeah. Wow. Do you boil it up to get some of that vodka? You want to cook all of the vodka out of it, it. yes. Okay. yes. So this is a kid-friendly recipe, just oh, good. in case. Okay. Yes, it is. So it gives you the flavor without any of the alcohol. So that good. is correct. Okay, we're whipping through time here. So what's next, Chef? So next, we're going to hit it with a little bit of our pepper. Nice. Huh? We're going to hit it with a couple, about four or five flakes of chili flakes. So mm -hmm. not too hot. Good. Then Love we're, we're going to come in with our cheeses. Yes, mm. you are. A little what bit of got? Parmesan Reggiano. Okay. Um, this is imported from Italy. Nice. We have our mozzarella. Beautiful. And as you're doing that, I think that's one of the things that mm. makes your restaurant really oh. stand out is the type of ingredients you're doing. You're importing the cheese. You're making sure that those ingredients. Because the best, best ingredients the best food, right? That's exactly yes, that is right. very makes true. Makes it easier on you. It does. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do with this, we're going to whisk this all together. Yes. And get everything all combined. You'll start to notice that, that your cheeses beautiful. are starting to, to no, combine very well. No, we love that well. cheese. That's gorgeous. All right, what's happening? So we're going to take our pasta mm, and we're going to drop it in to our so, salted water. This is okay. one of the little tools I want to have sometime in my life. This little mini strainer. Don't you feel like you need that in your life? I do, I do. It's one of those random things that I'm like, oh, I need this. That's okay, beautiful. So once it's boiled up, then you... You're going to add it in. Our pasta was part cooked already for sure. today. Got yeah. it. So we're going to add this in. What you're going to do is you you're going to take bit of that water, a little right? bit yes. of your water. I was going to say, yes. that's the trick. That is the that catch to up. this. Now, when people come to see you, do they need to make reservations? Is it, you know, um, they do not. In? They do not need to make reservations. Okay. Nope. Um, we are a walk-ins. We we take walk-ins, but reservations are yeah, preferred if you want. Yeah, never mind a little heads up for your party at twelve that's showing up. Exactly. Well, at people, seven o'clock on know, Friday. Right. That's probably smart for people that know Yada. They're doing a new grand opening because they got that new location, and it's all coming up on the sixteenth. So anybody's invited, go see them. It's going to be an amazing time. 
111 Franklin Street, Thursday, January 16th. Stop by, say hi, get some of this amazing food. That was awesome. Here we go. This recipe has been shared on our website at todayinnashville.com. We've got a whole host of great recipes there. You Jeff, thank you Barbara's so much. Congrats, Yada, on its new space in Clarksville. Look at that. Making people happy. Woo!